You ready? Yeah, that's it. The Sydney startup ecosystem is at a really amazing apex point. We know the technological change is going to hit us, so uh, the test is where do we go from here? When you say new or transitioning economy, the other 95% of the economy say, well, does that mean I'm in the old economy? I am going to lose my job. Disruption will happen. The real question is whether we're generating some of those disruptive forces or whether we are just being impacted by them. Australia is having a national conversation about startups, and Sydney is at the centre. On one hand, Sydney has produced huge success stories like Campaign Monitor, which raised $250 million in its first round of funding. Another startup, Atlassian, broke an Australian record with an $8 billion IPO last year. But according to PricewaterhouseCoopers' World in 2050 report, Australia will fall out of the G20 in part because it has underinvested in its knowledge economy. In 2015, Malcolm Turnbull unseated fellow Liberal Party member Tony Abbott to become Prime Minister, with promises to invigorate startup growth nationwide. The new Prime Minister, Malcolm Turnbull, styled himself the Innovation Prime Minister and announced very early on that he'd be introducing a $1.1 billion package of funds for startups and really trying to boost this part of the ecosystem. Rory San Miguel and Francis Beerboom are two Sydney-based startup founders. Propeller takes in the thousands of photos that a drone can capture in, in you know, 20 minutes of flying. We turn it into a 3D model and we make that really easy to measure from within a browser. Let's take uh, cell phone towers. Those towers need inspecting every six months or every year. Typically that means getting someone up in a cherry picker or ropes and ladders. Really dangerous job. 113 people out of 100,000 die every year that do that. Now you can just get your drone up, stay on the ground, take a whole lot of photos around this tower and Propeller turns that into a big interactive 3D model um, where you can go and look at all the detail of these photos and start pulling out those defects, keeping everybody on the ground super safe, much cheaper and way faster. Startups like Propeller are fundamentally altering how people work, but Australian voters haven't fully embraced these developments. 95% of people saying, well, hang on a minute, I'm in the old economy. Guess what? People get scared. They're scared of change. My job is to explain that innovation is a concept far broader than one that applies just to the digital tech startup space. There's been this terminology developed in Australia over the last 12 months, new economy and old economy. The problem is when you say new or transitioning economy, the other 95% of the economy say, well, hang on a minute, does that mean I'm in the old economy and I am gonna lose my job? That's not a reason to give up on innovation. It's actually a challenge for you to step up. These guys have dropped the ball on innovation. They think that innovation isn't just about tech startups, it's about a lot more businesses using innovation in their businesses. Well, yeah, that's, that's true but you need early stage innovators coming through the system. And our problem has been that the patch of turf that's been occupied by early stage innovation in this country has been small relative to the rest of the globe. Rory and Francis are engaged with the discussion surrounding tech startups in Australia. Every new technology that's come along has been a big problem for many people. And there's no doubt that technology changes that happen today are also you know, really hard for for some people in the economy. But it's also the case that new technologies, they've really unlocked a ton of amazing opportunities and, and things that, that make our lives different and better today. So, so we're looking at a, a 3D map of this quarry. So on a quarry, they're digging into a pit, they're blasting away the sides of the wall, and that means they spend a lot of money on surveyors to check the exact quantities that they're moving every day. I'm gonna um, just, just mark out this area around where we can see the blast is gonna happen, and it's gonna tell us straight away exactly the amount of material that uh, those trucks are gonna end up needing to pick up. That number is, is something that, you know, using conventional tools takes a week for your surveyor to come, come back to you with the answer. The industries we're working with um, that use positioning technologies, they've been disrupted four times in the last 30 years. Like the day that GPS became a technology um, was the day that everything changed for surveyors. The day that laser scanning turned up, it all changed again. And the people that are still working in that industry know the importance of adopting new technologies really quickly. We've survived a bunch of technical innovations in the past, but we're pretty optimistic about where things are going. We want to be a source 
of disruption, not just the object of disruption, in order to overcome some of those disruptive forces that will change the nature of economies whether we like it or not. Being an entrepreneur isn't, isn't necessarily a cool thing in Australia. It's not, the, it's not everyone's favourite word. It's taken a few good companies for us all to rally behind what we can do here and, and it's quite fun to be a part of something um, from the ground up like Australia, graduating to be a global sort of startup powerhouse. You, you can travel the world a long way and, and come back to Sydney Harbour and, and still look at it and yeah. think, yeah, that's, that's the best looking place in the world.